Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own landscape material which automatically aligns to the uh, terrain. So here's what I got. I pick the noise brush and let's start painting here. So as you can see as I'm painting down and higher it changes the, um, yeah, the texture based on the slope. So yeah, I can also make, add some air some more here there. and let's um, only race here as you can see it also makes good mountains so yeah these are basic textures so don't expect them to look good but if you have some good textures this would really uh, look much much better so let's actually smooth that out so I have here some yeah that's it let's get started open up your Unreal Engine browser and open up the editor um we will work with a blank project give it your name landscape slope and once it is open just delete here the, the um floor and let's create a new landscape here. Um, let's make here some settings so this looks a bit better. So first we need a skylight. I'll make this 1000. And I just delete the fog. Let's go to the light source, make it movable. And here intensity, something like 1.2 or something like this, or 1.5. You can play with these values there. Um, next up, let's add a content pack here. So I will just work with the starter content. So I have some basic materials. You can uh, always use your own, but uh, it would take too much time to create uh, new materials. So let's go ahead, close this up. Let's create a new folder, call this landscape and in this landscape we want to create a new material which will be landscape master and out of this we want to create a material instance then we can click here on the landscape and assign our landscape master instance to it and next up we need some material functions so let's grab this one um, let's call this mouse, copy over, no. duplicate, oh there it is. So let's call this one stone and normal sand. So um, let's open up all these three like this and then let's get to the starter content under materials we have some yeah, basic materials we can use free. So let's first use the ground moss, copy everything over here, put it in, grab this one here. And to actually save here the settings, we want to make the material attributes, sorry. Um, same as when we do uh, creating some um, yeah, inventories or something where we make a uh, the new uh, structures. So here this one is the normal and this one is the roughness but um, yeah we don't really need the roughness because we will just set it to one and that's it. So here we have now our mass mouse function. Uh, let's take the rock here Oops, sorry, like this and put it under stone can make of course we want to make this one so here is the roughness and the normal like this and oh I forgot to link it to the output and apply it so we can actually close this at this one and the last one um, yeah I don't really have a uh, good sand 
could use the ground gravel or some dirt. I think there's somewhere dirt. But just let's let's just uh, work here with the rock, which looks like a sand rock. So I would just uh, again copy this over here and pull this in. Oops, make material like this. Get the roughness here and let's get the normal. Plug it in, apply, and let's get back here to the landscape. So once the shader is compiled, you can see now the three materials. Open up your landscape master and let's pull the history function in here. So first we start with the moth. Now is the bit trickier part, so we break this here, so we can get now at the base color and the normal. Um, the next part is we want to lerp in between two uh, materials, so here will be sand and moss. So break also the sand material, and we want to um, actually uh, before we do this here forgot something. So uh, basically we want to lerp first between the sand and the stone. So the stone we will always, when we uh, go with slope, only need the half here. So um, here at the beginning will be the grass, then we have the so sand layer, and then we have the stone layer. And yeah, to do this, we will first lerp here between these two. So, grab in this one, and we lerp sand and stone. And let's actually, so we can see this better, um, add this here. So combine this one and that one. And we will make this into the base color. So we have now a basic input. So now it's just mixed between those. But uh, we will now uh, align a blend to it. So we use the world align blend. So based on the world's uh, shape, so of the terrain shape, we will blend. And for this, we need here a scholar parameter. The sharpness um, determines how, uh, yeah, how, yeah, how should I explain it? How you will see it. <laughs> yeah, it's just the sharpness of the um, edges of the material. So I use here 23.15. So this is a value I worked best at. So you can see here how it cuts here, but with a, yeah, with not as sharp as you can do it. You can put in here 1000 and it would be much, much sharper. So here, like like a real edge. So I worked best with 23. And uh, the bias, I did the best with minus 8.7. So uh, you will see what this does here is it changes the line from the middle to the top. Yeah, and basically how I found these numbers was I just um, actually named this, of course, stone and sand sharp and stone and, oops, sorry, stone and sand bias like this. And then I went into the landscape master and once you applied this you can play here with those values and this was everything I did so I looked what what uh, was best for me and I came with these values so yeah let's move on so here once again the world align blend and this time uh, again two scholar parameters and this one blends between these two and this one but I will just call this stone 
moss sharp so it's not that long stone moss bias and the values I used here are 21.5 and minus 9.3 like this so now we have grass or moss stone and sand so at this time it looks not very good and oh I see that I <laughs> actually changed those two here so let's grab them and just plug this one into this and this into that and now we have stone sand grass so um, we could actually try this out but uh, let's just finish the next part so the other thing is we also want a normal map so we can uh, have more mixed materials here and for this we just copy everything over so this into the normal the sharpness will come from here and the bias will come from there and let me look here under alpha we want to have the explicit normal um, B will come from the from here from the normal and A will actually come from here and here we want to have just as before just normal and normal and for the alpha plug in here the explicit and get the blend sharp and the blend bias and now we have a better mixed texture here so yeah for the roughness we can also add a scalar parameter of course so let's make this rough and just one so it's not reflecting its on it and yeah that's actually everything I did so very very simple uh, once you're here in your uh, viewport, let's make this a bit bigger and let's see it's quite light intensity is too high um yeah let's just start painting so uh, we go here under a sculpt brush and under noise we can just start painting and yeah it looks already very good so yeah that's almost everything um can also smooth this out so we have more of a sandy terrain like this and yeah if you like you can play here with the landscape master instance just hit here everything up and let's just make this only grass for example so we just have now grass so if i sculpt now oops there it will only make here a small ring of sand yeah you can play with these values if you find a better way you can also post it under the uh, video so everyone can use it and yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and yeah have a nice day bye